In this video, let us continue to solve word problems based on simultaneous linear equations. We've got a question which reads like this. 10 years ago, father was 12 times as old as his son and 10 times hence, he will be twice as old as his son will be. Find their present ages. Well, this is one of those age problems and it's not very difficult at all. Again, you know, we need to identify the unknowns, what we have to find. We have to find their present ages, right? The present ages. That is what we have to find. So that's exactly what we have to assume. So now let the present age of the father present age of father be x years and let the present age of son be y years. So now what it says, once we've established this, it says 10 years ago, father was 12 times as old as his son. So that is before 10 years, father's age was what? Father was 12 times as old as his son and 10 years hence, he'd be twice as old. So first of all, before 10 years, before 10 years, what will be the father's age? Now the father's age is x. So before 10 years, the father's age will be, just subtract 10 from the present age. It will be x minus 10 years, right? And what about the son's age before 10 years? Subtract from the present age, y minus 10 years. That's all, nothing different. Now, what it says, now we've established the ages before 10 years. That's okay. But before 10 years, father was 12 times as old as his son. So, the father's age, x minus 10, is equal to 12 times the age of his son 10 years ago. Right? So, that's exactly what it is. Father's age is 12 times son's age 10 years ago. So, now let's make an equation out of this. We get x minus 10 equals 12y minus 120. Right? So, now x minus 12y equals minus 120 plus 10 which is x minus 12y equals minus 110 or x minus 12y plus 110 equals 0. So this is one equation that we've got. Now the next thing what they say is 10 years hence or 10 years afterwards or 10 years later he will be twice who the father will be twice as old as his son. So now, what about after 10 years? What's the age, first of all? Let us split the page. So, after 10 years, father's age will be x plus 10, and son's age will be y plus 10. And they also say, father's age is twice, two times the age of his son. Father's age is 2 times the age of his son. So, the forming an equation from this, we get x minus 2y minus 10 equal to 0. So, now let us solve these two equations. We've got what? Here, we've got x minus 2y plus 110 equal 0. And we've got x minus 2y minus 10 equal to 0. Sorry, here it is 12y, x minus 12y. So now, let us subtract these. We lose x, which is good for us. We left with only one variable, which is what we need. So 12y minus 12y plus 2y is minus 10y. This becomes plus. So we've got plus 120 equal to 0. So 10y equal to 120 or y equals 120 by 10 which is 12. So the present age of y or the son's age is 12 years. And what is his father's age? You just have to substitute the value of y in one of these equations and find the father's age. So let us substitute the value of y, say in this equation, we get x minus 2 times 12 minus 10 equals 0. So x minus 24 minus 10 equals 0. 
so x minus 34 equals 0 or x equals 34. So the present age of the father is 34 years and the present age of the son is 12 years. So this is what we had to find and we found it. So before 10 years, that is when the father was 24, the son would have been 2, right? So that's exactly 12 times. 2 times 12 is 24. So the father's age was that. So 10 years from now, father will be 44. The son will be, uh, yeah, 10 years from now, the son will be 22 years and the father will be 44, which is exactly twice as old as the son. 22 times 2 is 44. So that's all this. So we found the age of both father and son. It was not very difficult. It was pretty easy. So I'm briefing the whole problem for you again before I close the video. All I'd say is first identify what we have to find and give it names. You know, give it some variables, x or y or z or whatever that you want. And then flow with the sum. Just go with the sum. What it says, it says 10 years ago. So you do minus 10 years. What happens? Father was 12 times as old as the son. Try forming an equation and then another equation. The problem has it all. You, you just have to take it from the problem. And once you get these equations, it's simple operations that we've done in so many previous videos. So I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more word problems based on simultaneous linear equations.